Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a video that was requested. Uh, some people were asking about fruity fragrances for the summer, so I thought I'd give you uh, my list. It's fairly long because I love fruity. Uh, but before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to hit that button. Join the weird and wonderful family. I would love to have you part of the community. And without further ado, let's jump into the fruit. Yes, indeed. I talked about some of these recently in my summer fragrance uh, video because there's so many fruity ones that I love. So I'm going to just quickly mention them uh, and then move on and tell you kind of what the fruit is in each one of them. Um, and then I'll get on to some ones that I didn't mention in my top, uh, top 10 summer. So first one is Hippie Chic uh, by La Petite Robe Noire uh, by Guerlain. So this one is kind of a lighter version of the original. Now this one has lemon and lime, but the stars of the show in this one are sour cherry and raspberry in particular. There's a bit of peach as well, uh, but I mainly get the sour cherry and the raspberry in this one. Uh, it's just a sweet kind of airy fragrance, perfect for summer, not gonna be too overpowering. Next one that's just amazing, Trois L'Imperatrice, uh, by Dolce & Gabbana. This is like a watermelon, uh, a watermelon kiwi, uh, delicious watery scenario. So it's quite aquatic, there's musk, but the main uh, fruits in this one are kind of a melony fragrance. Uh, and it's very refreshing. It, it smells cool. It smells like a, a, a mist of freshness. So Love this one for summer. Next one that's a major love for me is Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Love is Love. Now this one has, you know, the the Sicilian lemon. I believe there's Granny Smith apple. But the star of this show is raspberry again. So raspberry, uh, it smells zesty, zingy, but then kind of gets a little bit more sorbet in the end. So love this one. If you like raspberry but want something refreshing, light, and a little bit citrus, this one is fantastic. Next ras raspberry fragrance that I believe I've already mentioned so quickly, So Scandal. It's raspberry. This raspberry is really uh, like forward in the fragrance. So it's raspberry and tuberose. It's sweet. It's synthetic. It's a little bit grapey, but it works well in the heat. So this is a major hit for me. Last one that I'll quickly mention before going on to my other ones is Angel Ice Star. Now this one, I was tempted not to mention it because uh, it's pina colada. So you're getting the coconut as much as the fruit. Uh, but it it still is a really pretty pineapple in here. Uh, but what really makes that pineapple come out, and I have to mention it, it's it's uh, pink pink pineapple sunrise. So this is just it's it's mouth watering. It's pineapple, but it smells a little bit like pink lemonade and pineapple, or somehow a pink pineapple lemonade. <laughs> It's so, so sweet and juicy and delicious. Makes my mouth water. It has sweet pink pineapple, palm sugar, and sun-drenched nectar. So I love this. If you want to amp up your fruit, but kind of like that summer fruit vibe or tropical fruit vibe, uh, Pink Pineapple Sunrise is awesome. So I have a few here that I want to share a little bit more in depth with you. Now the first one is Issy Miyake's Low Dissy Rose and Rose. Now, Issy Miyake is known for kind of their aquatic uh, fragrances. This one's no exception. So there's this aquatic uh, quality to this. Uh, it's It definitely has the DNA of the Low Dissy line, which I actually really enjoy. I wanna get the Nectar one. But anyway, this one, this one has raspberry and pear in it, but what you really get is that raspberry. It mixes beautifully with the rose. Uh, definitely rose kind of goes hand in hand with that raspberry, but as far as a fruity, uh, refreshing um, rose, this is a great option for the summer. Longevity is really decent on this one as well. Next one, and I've got a lot of raspberry ones in here because it's one of my favorite notes, especially in the summer. Next one is Angel Nova by Mugler. Now this one is the EDP. Now, if you like a really strong raspberry, this one is this one's going to be great for you. Um, this one, uh, I love that raspberry opening. It has raspberry and lychee, so it's really tart. Um, it it 
Some people say they think it smells like Delina. I don't think it smells anything like Delina, like not even at all, like not at all. Um, it has similar components to Delina as far as the notes, but as far as it's smelling like Delina, nothing like it. Uh, this one's a bit abrasive because it's got this Akigala or patchouli note in it. It's kind of refreshing. It's very loud and in your face. And if you want a strong, heavy hitter in the summer, this one would work. This one would work all year round because it's so strong. Uh, I hear the EDT is a little bit lighter. I would have liked a little bit more sweet in this one. Uh, that said, I think it's a fantastic performer. I actually enjoy when I wear it, but I don't like to get too close to it because that patchouli feels a little overpowering for me. So still working with this one, but as far as a real massive powerhouse raspberry fruity fragrance, this one definitely is it. Next fragrance again has raspberry is Floral Streets Wonderland Peony. This is the happiest of happy fragrances. I love this one. There's cotton candy, there's peony. It's just, it's just a happy, cheery, delicious fragrance. Now this one in the opening, it has guava, guava, red berries, and Sicilian lemon. But what I really get out of it, like I do get a little bit of that tartness and a little bit of that guava, but what I really get is uh, raspberry. So in the base, it says it has raspberry bloom. To me, it just comes across as raspberry. It's my happy, uh, just kind of cheery, like want to do a dance, part of a musical or some crazy thing with pastel colors. This is, this is it. It's happy, it's cheery, it's fun, it's flirty. This one, uh, you get about five hours out of it. So in the summer, that works for me. Another powerhouse Mugler fragrance is Angel Muse EDT. Now this one, Honestly, the Aki Gala or the patchouli that you get in both of these is kind of similar. Angel Nova is a bit more woody. This one has a beautiful passion fruit note, note as well as mandarin orange and lemon. Uh, but then you get some chocolate, hazelnut, uh, I don't know, just some, some, a little bit of a del deliciousness with this one. So it's, it's definitely different, uh, but it does work in the summer. It's an EDT. You're going to get like six hours out of this, even though it's an EDT, super potent. Uh, but that passion fruit opening is just delicious. And then the chocolate kind of makes it a little decadent. So this one's a really fun one for summer for sure. I've got three more fruity fragrances for you. The first one is my beloved Sophia. Uh, by Sofia Vergara. Now this one is a classy kind of romantic fragrance. I believe there's rose and orchid in here, uh, but the real star for me is the plum and there's blackberry in this one. So you definitely get a warmer fruit in this one. I find something like pear, uh, peach, cherry, notes like that, raspberry, to be kind of happy cheery fruits, uh, whereas I find um, blackberry and plum to be more sensual, I guess. So this is kind of a sensual option for the summer. Definitely has a juicy, fruity component to it. Uh, very classy. I just love this one. The longevity is excellent. Like I kind of get all day with this one. So uh, super, super awesome and extremely affordable. Now my most affordable options would be Elizabeth Arden Green Tea line. So I have green tea pomegranate and green tea nectar, nectarine blossom. I love both of these equally. They don't last long, uh, but while they're there, they're invigorating and they're cheery. In the pomegranate one, you have pomegranate, passion fruit, tangelo, and bergamot, and then there's raspberry bloom in the base. The ras like there's other stuff, there's green tea, different stuff like that. But what I get out of this one is a pomegranate raspberry kind of mix. Uh, I love this one. It's super cheery and happy. Lasts about two hours, but I don't mind respraying. And in the super heat, this is fantastic. The green tea nectarine blossom, as far as fruits, has peach, exotic fruits, and bergamot in the opening. And then it has nectarine in the mid. This to me comes across you know, that peachy nectarine vibe, very refreshing again, and just just a happy kind of nectarine peach, but a little bit green. So love this one as well. This is definitely more refreshing. This one is more fruity, juicy. This one has peach, but it's a little bit more refreshing. But I love both of these in the, the summer heat. 
Now the last one I want to mention is kind of a new one to my collection. Well, I just have a little sample of it. Is Peach Oyuzu by Kais Perfumes. And I want to buy a bottle as soon as I can. I love it. It's kind of a mouth-watering peach fragrance. Definitely smells very bright peachy, like ripe peach bordering on peach candy. You get a little bit of that mouth-watering quality from the Yuzu, which is kind of a little bit lemony. This one also has vanilla, tonka bean, and jasmine. I don't notice the jasmine at all, but the vanilla and tonka bean kind of give it an edible quality and almost come across pastry-like in the end. So definitely more of a fruity gourmand. I've mentioned it a lot recently. Definitely one to check out if you're liking peach in your fragrances and you want something fun, uplifting and energizing for the summer, but you still like a little bit of sweet in there. The Peach Oyuzu is perfect by Kais. And that is it. That was a lot of fragrance I shared quite quickly. Um, mainly because I've talked about all of these so much, but there are so many fruity fragrances out there that are perfect for summer. Uh, some of my favorites out of the list as far as feeling refreshing, but still getting that fruit, because sometimes they can get cloying. I don't want cloying in the heat. Uh, Toile Imperatrice, definitely. So Scandal, even though it's got that bubble gum, it's just, it's perfect for summer. Really love the green teas and I love this love is love. So those would be my main picks, uh, but the other ones are beautiful fru fruity fragrances that you can wear throughout the summer. I can't wait to wear them all. Like seriously, I love this time of year and I love the fragrances. That is it from me. Now I wanna hear from you. What is your favorite fruity fragrance? Give me one, give me three, but tell me which ones are best. We all wanna hear about it, so please leave your comments in the comment section. All these perfumes will be linked down below as long as I can find them. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.